I'm Alyssa or Alyssa Lee 15 and today I'm going to do the 10 books I would recommend and I also decided that I would do some series because I want to just recommend one book I would recommend tons. So I'm going to start off with Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson which is a book about a girl who lost her best friend to an eating disorder and she also has one. It's a very sad tale but having dealt with an eating disorder myself which I can talk about in later videos if you're interested. This is inspiring. The next book I'm going to talk about is actually 846 pages, if you can tell. It's Until the End by Christopher Pike. It's a murder mystery book, and I really enjoy it. I finished it in a very quick time period, surprisingly, for its length. But I would definitely recommend this book. It's more expensive considering its length, but I actually bought it for $10 at Books A Million. The next book I have for you is actually a series and it's the Vampire Academy series and it's just a wonderful tale about this really cool BA girl named Rose and her best friend Lisa and all their awesome things they got. There's a really hot Russian guy named Dimitri so if you're interested I would definitely pick up this book in the entire series. There's six books and it's by Rochelle Mead. I would definitely read these. The next book is actually a spin-off series of the Vampire Academy so I'm gonna give you that series. Um, it's not quite, quite complete. It's on the third book and I don't know how many books are in the series, but it is the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. One of the girls in the story that you would meet in book four, I believe, has her own series that comes off and I really enjoy it. They're very pretty books and this is the first book. I have all three that have come out yet. So I'm very excited to read on. I really love the Vampire Tales stories. Yes, I am a Vampire Tales story lover. The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collin. I could not find The Hunger Games. I do think that my sister has the book and I think she has Catching Fire. So I just grabbed The Mockingjay. I really enjoy this book and the movie because it gives us a different look. I think Collins had a different feel for like the future of our country. And I think she really portrayed it well. Um, different? Definitely different. But I definitely enjoyed her way of portraying it, though it is a bit different. So. I do recommend reading the books if you haven't read them and you have seen the movie. I would read these. The next I have is another series, and it is the I Am Number 4 series by Pitticus Lore. And no, the guy's name's not Pitticus. He goes under a surname, and I think there are like two or three men that write this book. I could be completely mistaken, but it's about a really attractive, like, I don't remember if his hair is brown or blonde, but in the movie it's Alex Pettifer, so he's blonde blonde haired guy who has these super powers because he's an alien and there's nine of them and they in like another alien country comes and tries to kill them off. Really good story. I think the series has ended. The next book I have is another series of course. It's the Divergent series and only two of the three in the trilogy have come out, Divergent and Insurgent and it's by Veronica Roth and I really enjoy it because Triss is just this BA girl and she has this really awesome boyfriend named Four. And I don't know if they date in this book, so I'm sorry if I gave anything away. But I'm really into this, and I know they're making it into a movie. And this is like a futuristic time period as well. It's kind of like inspired. I feel like it's inspired by The Hunger Games. So I think that if you like The Hunger Games, you'd definitely like this. Next book I have I do not actually own. I borrowed it from a friend. And it was Perks of Being Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I feel that this book is just beautiful. It's a raw tale of a boy who was molested at a very young age, what he's seen throughout his life. It's a wonderful story and I really feel like if people have seen the movie and they have not read the book that they should really go out and read the book because yes, the movie is wonderful, but the book is just so good. And the book just, it makes you cry, it makes you smile, it makes you wonder, it makes you think, it does all these things to your brain. And it leaves you in awe, ultimately. Next book I have is Paper Towns by John Green. I'm a John Green lover. I think he's a wonderful writer, though he hasn't written many books. But, but Paper Towns is about this boy who liked this girl, who she like takes him on an adventure one night, and then she just leaves. And he's like, what? So he's curious as to where she went, and he finds all these signs. And then he tries to go find her or he wonders if she's dead. It's a really good tale about life and moving on from things. And I just really enjoyed it because it's funny, but it's really like, whoa, too. And on my Tumblr, I always post like inspiring quotes from books. And I have a lot from Paper Town, surprisingly more than I think I have from Perks of Being a Wallflower and um, Looking for Alaska. 
in the Vault in Our Stars. So, Looking for Alaska is another one by John Green, and I think it's a beautiful, beautiful story because it's just very different. It, sh it shows the rawness of life that sometimes when something bad happens, you're not always going to know what happens. So that's basically why I like that, and that you have to move on even though you might blame yourself, you're going to have to move on. So that's why I really enjoy that story, and there's some funny bits and pieces of it. And the last book I really enjoyed, it tugged at the heartstrings, was The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. It was so beautiful and so perfect in all these imperfect ways. It made me feel happy and sad, kind of like Perks of Being a Wallflower did. But I'm a sucker for a cancer story, but at the same time, I think I cried three or four times throughout that book. I'm like, how dare he do this, and then he did this, and then he did this. And I was, I was bawling, like, multiple times, and it was uncontrollable. But ultimately, the book just shows that life happens, and that grasp it while you can, and to be happy for what you have while you still have it. So, basically, that's probably one of my favorite books, I'm going to have to say. So those are my 10 books slash series that I would recommend. If you have any great books that you would recommend for me that you would want to tell me down below, you can do that. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, thumbs up, um, do all that good stuff. Be my friend because I would love to be yours and I will see you in the next video. Bye!